Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to today's edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys swinging by the channel to hang out with me a little bit and watch the video and you're going to be glad you did guys. I got a really good video today. We're going to be talking about the new Mega Bass Grand Siglet Cicada Bait, um, how to fish it and talk a little bit about this thing. Look at that little deal. It looks like just like a cicada here. Um, this, I don't know if you guys know it, but 2024 was a record year for a cicada hatch and that's been a big factor in some of the tournaments all summer long. So this is the type of bait that is just like sort of a once in a lifetime situation this summer. And I'm gonna talk about uh, where you guys can get them at and how to fish them in today's video. Um, also guys, just a quick invitation out there. I'd like to invite everybody, if you haven't considered to please hit that subscribe button here at Intuitive Angling, free and easy to do so. And also please check out our Fish the Moment Lake Map Breakdowns uh, that I'm uh, making for uh, fishthemoment.com, Johnny Schultz's YouTube channel and website. Um, it's a really good resource to learn more about your favorite lake or any lake that you've never been to and you want to get some good fishing spots. So I'll link all that in the description. Okay, guys, I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while. Tackle Warehouse has finally got it in stock and you can get these before they run out, guys, at Tackle Warehouse. I'll put my uh, Tackle Warehouse Grand Signal link in the description here. Now, if you're not familiar with it, um, 2024, this is one of those years where they had a record hatch of cicadas. There's little topwater bugs here like the locusts. And uh, if you look at this thing, this thing looks exactly like a cicada, it, absolutely exactly. It's got the same translucent wings that they do, same body profile, same body length here. And guys, this is a walking topwater. It's sort of like if you guys, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but the old Head and Crazy Crawler was the, the forerunner of this. Back, I fished it a lot back in the 70s and it had metal lips on it. Most of the time it was like a bullfrog pattern. But guys, the attention to detail on this Mega Bass Grand Sigma is second to none. Look at that thing. The eyeballs are just like it on there. You know, the body, it's got the, the hard shell exo exoskeleton on it. It's got a nice rattle in it that attracts a little bit. And when you throw this thing out there, guys, it just sort of walks across the water, just like a, you know, cicada getting away up there, cicada falling off a tree. And most of the time I'm fishing it on, you, you definitely want to use monofilament line, guys. You don't want to use braid or fluorocarbon. I usually throw it on like, you know, 12 pound test monofilament line, some type of a medium action bait caster. You can also throw it on like a seven foot spinning rod with eight to 10 pound mono on it because this is a pretty light bait. And sometimes the spinning rod, uh, you need a little bit more accurate cast. And the one thing that I do on this guys is I do replace this hook. It's got a, uh, this hook design is, is designed to be weedless. It's only a two barb hook, but I like to put like a number four, excuse me, a number five or a number six uh, Gamagatsu uh, G Finesse treble hook on it. It seems like I get better hookups uh, than, than with the stock hook that's on there. So let's talk a little bit about when to fish this thing and why you want to fish it. Um, it's all about um, getting it around the cicada hatch. Now, a lot of this is like, you don't necessarily have to have cicadas. In fact, you don't have to have cicadas in order for them to bite this thing because this has been going on all summer. Bass know they're there, bass are conditioned to it. But the areas that I like to fish the Grand Siglet in is I go back into the flatter coves, like halfway to two thirds of the way back into coves. And I look for any type of shade pocket, overhanging trees, shade that's created from a boat dock, um, you know, the angle of the bank based upon the sunlight angle at that time of day. Anywhere there's some shade in shallow water, you want to throw this thing. And most of the time you need water. I don't like to throw it in dirty wa dirtier water. I like to have water visibility of at least two and a half feet. So I'm looking for water visibility sort of between, you know, a minimum of two feet. You can get away with two feet, but sort of like between two to five foot visibility is ideal for this thing. Get back there in those flat areas and throw it around any type of shade and just just reel it just just a medium act just a, a medium retrieve just like that you don't have to you know do stop and go on it once in a while you know i will stop it and let it pause and let the you know the ripples you know dissipate but i, I don't use like a stop and go it's usually just a you know just a steady retrieve like that and you can you sort of have to you know let the fish tell you how they want to retrieve in general, the cleaner the water, the faster you have to retrieve it. And if the water, so if it's, you know, close to five foot of visibility, fish a little bit faster. And if it's down around two foot of visibility, slow it down a little bit. But anyway, guys, this is a, sort of a once in a lifetime deal. You, the Tackle Warehouse is gonna sell out of these in a second. So again, I'll put the Tackle Warehouse link to the Grand Siglin in there if you guys wanna pick a couple up. But just give it a try, guys. This is something that's just sort of unique for 2024. It's always going to work. You know, the, the wing top waters have worked for 50 years. 
but we've never seen one like the Mega Bass Grand Signal with this attention to detail that looks exactly like a cicada. So anyway, guys, just uh, hope it helps you guys catch a few. Fun bait to fish. Anytime you can catch them on top water, it's a blast. So hope it helps you guys catch a few. We'll talk later.